according to that font of all knowledge, the internet, Wilson Bobbin Brothers Company was founded in around 1823. For anyone that doesn't know, bobbins are the little round shiny things uh, situated in a, in a sewing machine uh, under the needle. And the function of the bobbin is to spool the cotton out uh, into the needle into which it's threaded where, to make stitches. My mum was a home machinist and bobbins full of sewing thread were a familiar sight in our house. After the Second World War, Wilson's decided to branch out a bit and made two live steam vertical boiled oscillating engines. I don't remember when, could be 15, 20 years ago, but at the Great Dorset Steam Fair, I purchased a Wilson engine in a rather battered box. I still have the box and the remnants as acquired are shown here. I bought the engine on a whim and possibly, don't know, might have paid a bit too much money for it at the time, but I just thought it looked rather fine. I thought the engine might have been uh, amended at some stage, but uh, Lately, investigation on the internet would seem to suggest that my engine is in completely unrestored and actually original condition. I also believe the burner to be the original as supplied, although I think I might have put new wicks in it. The engine had had a little running, but by the look of it, not very much and really not suffered much in the way of damage. On a boring day in late 2017, and on a whim, and probably totally unwisely, I decided to put a fire under the engine. I mean, put some water in it first, of course. The video and associated soundtrack are as recorded in 2017. Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of fire here. This is a Burton and Wilson engine I've had for a long time. Not sure if the uh, mass container ain't leaking really, but um, this thing I think was built in about 1946, 7, something like that, probably just at the end of the Second World War. Um, I think it's the first time I've actually lit it. Um, I'll have to examine it, I've just stuck some ethanol in it and lit the burner. I will have to examine the mess tank in case that's a leak that's causing the flames to go everywhere. Anyway, considering it probably ain't been run for, I've had it 30 years, who knows. As you can see, once the flames died down from the spirit tank, which I'd clearly overfilled, the engine ran very well. Vandal, thy name is Ed White, i.e. me. You'll also note that I give various estimates as to um, how long I've had this engine. I've got a terrible memory. So this is the very ancient, relatively, Wilson engine I think it's called. Single cylinder oscillator. It's very well made because the boiler is solid copper and looks to be all silver soldered. Um, and as you can see from the other video, it uh, still works perfectly. I mean, there isn't, I don't think it's had a lot of use. There isn't much to go wrong with oscillators, of course, if they don't wear out. So uh, it's very good. The stand to which the single cylinder and flywheel and axle are attached seems to be some sort of very durable white metal. The boil is very well constructed and looks to me to be of silver soldered construction. I believe the red insulating fibre washer type arrangement on the control valve 
and the lubricator are all original features of this engine and not subsequent modifications by some other owner. The engine has very little corrosion and presumably hasn't done much running. I've only had to run it the one time. For size comparison purposes, I show the Wilson engine alongside a Stuart Turner 7V engine which I built from castings a long, long, long time ago.